Your child's eyesight is it 2020? I'm Marcy Fraser. Even if your child's vision is 2020, that's great and they can see clearly, but how's their visual system? Well, we do something here called developmental or behavioral optometry, and that means we're especially tuned into tracking, focusing, and other issues that can make reading and learning in school much more challenging for children. Second grader Jordan Ziegler may be a typical kid thinking homework isn't fun. I hate it. Yeah. Why? Because it's not fun. It's boring. <laughs> but his mom knew something was just not right. He needed some academic intervention services for reading because he wasn't, you know, keeping up pace with the other students in the class, you know, the normal sight words. And her yeah, daughter had similar know. problems also. Spelling words, or she wasn't gaining the fluency you know, over the years to the level that we uh, were looking for. The symptoms were classic for a behavioral vision problem. Need a finger even though they're a little bit older to keep their place as they read. Um, again, very distractible when they're trying to do close work, even just getting very close to the paper. Even if your child has 20-20 vision, they can still have a problem focusing. I've worked with college level athletes who have wonderful 2020 vision but have horrible focusing ability. And what that means is when they have to look up close for more than five minutes, they may get a headache, the words may get blurry, the words may run together. An eye doctor can test for the problem. Jordan, you're going to look right at that X. I'm going to move this ball around. Tell me as soon as you see the ball coming. Okay? We do what's called a learning related vision assessment or a behavioral optometry examination. We measure how well the child is converging. How long can they converge and focus at near for? If a problem is found, behavioral therapy is recommended once a week for up to 20 weeks. Treatment includes computer based activities, scanning exercises, and games. The average child watches about 6,300 hours of television before entering first grade. Although the jury's out, we don't know how TV and computers can affect the eyes. The bottom line is you need to limit both. Like uh, Monday through Friday, that you try to limit them to about an hour of screen time, be that computer time or video game time, mm -hmm. and, and go a little more on the weekends. The therapy has worked for both of her kids. Jordan's confidence level has improved greatly. Now they, you know, want to free read and, you know, enjoy doing their homework a lot more. So you see a sense of accomplishment and pride in themselves. Mm -hmm.